All right, folks. Let's take a closer look at the Object 283 Premium Tier 9 Russian Medium Tank. So unfortunately, we only got the screenshots for the in-game garage. So no action shots or HD vehicle pan around. Unfortunate. We have to make do with what we got. And let's take a closer look at the initial stats. So 100mm Russian gun has more alpha than the average by 40, so that's decent. 226mm of pin for AP round is alright for tier 9 medium, but a little bit below average, slightly. 300 for the high explosive anti tank, good enough. Reload time is a little bit slow, so DPM is about 2000. 300, 2400 or so, it's okay. So with a rammer, that should be about 2700. Decent enough. Aim time is a little bit long, but alright, 2.5. Accuracy is Russian, 0.38, so not the greatest, not the worst, also. 6 degrees of gun depression for a rear mounted turret, so that's decent enough. And 20 elevation, 50 rounds. The same crew for all Russian medium tanks at high tier, so that's good. 50 km per hour top speed, 18 reverse, about 18 horsepower per ton ratio. Um, it is classified as an assault medium tank, so it's actually decent enough. It should be a little bit slower compared to the counterpart, but it has more armor. Hull traverse is decently quick, pretty quick. Turret traverse, also decently quick. Not the best, but still decent enough. 1700 health, 190 millimeter at the front for the hull, well sloped, and 190 for the turret front, also rounded. It's a salt medium tank, so get stuck in and go for the heavy tanks or city combat. Side armor is actually not bad for a medium, 80. Side of the turret is also decent enough. View range. Below average, but Russian, 380. Radio is standard. So let's take a closer look at the actual stats with a 100% crew. So DPM is about 2,400. Not bad. I mean, with a rammer, that's like almost 2,800 with Vince and Brothers in the Arms, so decent enough. Accuracy is 0.36, 100% crew. Not bad. 2.4 seconds of aim time, also not bad. 6 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation. Turret traverse is 41.7. And the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same. So about 9 seconds of reload time with a 100% crew. So about 8 seconds with a rammer and vents. Yeah, decent. The turret armor is a little bit different on the actual page. It's 250 compared to the 190 on the previous page. The frick? It has more armor, oppos supposedly. Uh, opposing the actual preview, this should be like 250? I mean, it could be a troll, and that's 250 below the mantlet, or behind the mantlet, and only 190 for the sides, but still, that's rounded 190. It should be bouncing quite a lot of shells, especially for the upper plate. That looks like a heavy tank rounded hull front. <laughs> Like a 277-ish of a design, so... Also, it could be a V-shape when you look at the lower plate too. Almost American, like the E5s. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, this could be side skirts, so... If these stowage boxes are actually deemed as side skirts or side armor, or space armor, then side scraping is actually not bad with this vehicle, so we'll have to see with the actual armor profile, but upper play is very well sloped. Also rounded too. Oof. And it's 190 at the front. That is a uh, pretty thick boy. So I think this could be a decent assault medium tank. Now the only downside is the rear mounted turret, so that gives you a lot of problem with terms of haul down, but 9 degrees is alright. Also you're exposing your engine deck. So what happens is if you're face hugging a tall vehicle with gun depression, they just jam shots into your engine deck and knock out your engine or just penetrate overmatching the roof of the hull, which is also not good. So you should stay at about 200 meters or 100 meter or more 
So don't stay face hugging into tall tanks with gun depression like the E100 or something. But mobility wise, about 18 horsepower per ton ratio, top speed of 50, hull traverse is pretty quick. Camo is actually not half bad. It's not as good as a 430 version number two, but this is classified as assault with the pentagram or pentagon. So it's not a sniper medium tank. So it is more like the original 430 version number two before they nerfed it into a sniper. View range is mm, average-ish for a Russian, below average for the standard. Health is also a little bit below average, but that's all right. Oh, well, it is like the traditional 430 version number two. Let me take a closer look at this little thumbnail. Yeah, that is a rounded, <laughs> rounded and sloped upper plate. I mean, it's like an almost V shape. Holy crap. That is pretty good. But uh, 430 version number two was a traditional assault ish of a rear mounted turret medium tank they had a lot of effective slope armor at the front but they nerfed it they nerfed the armor to 80 at the front now it was about 130 or 120 well sloped at the front or so they nerfed it so these are more snipers now compared with uh, uh k91 what the hell is the k9 uh, there it is so sniper medium tank these are not actually combat assault as opposed to the object for 30s so this is closer to what you want to play in terms of play style, but hmm. uh, rear of the turret is huge, likely for counterweight for the gun or for the turret, but stowage boxes, bins likely. It's also rounded at the back too. That's interesting. <laughs> so I'm still guessing this might be space armor, these stowage bins might be space armor so if it's a v-shape hull then like right here it looks v-shaped to me that's pretty good side scraping even though it's only 80 it's still pretty good like the 907 that tier 10 practically so we'll have to see with the actual vehicle armor profile but commander cupola is not as big there is a ridge for it so you could get pinned if they shot into your turret roof but small target yeah, pretty small target. Also, there's a periscope in front, so they just damage the periscope. Um, that acts as space armor. Not a bad vehicle design. The only downside is the engine deck. Getting artillery or getting face hug with gun depression. Shell velocity is decent enough. I mean, it's kind of slow at tier 9, but if you're assaulting at 100 meters to 200 meters range, then that's that's fine. 950 meters per second for AP, 850 for high explosive anti tank, and standard 950 for high explosive. Uh, it could be better, but yeah, reminds me of the Japanese guns or Chinese guns with low shell velocity for high tier. So it's it's workable, but hmm, just take your shots carefully if you're trying to snipe across the map yeah, and lead your shots a little bit. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's take a closer look at the stats. Health could be better, but that's all right. It's not an E50 or Chunky Boy, so nothing to complain. Camo is about the same, I think, as the 430. So, default camo is 15. Uh, let's see, default camo for the comparisons. It has worse camo than a stock. Really? 430 has better camo than the 430 version number 2. What? Already configured. I turned off everything. Like, I turned off all the crew skills, all the equipments. Surprisingly, this has 19 camo. Disney has better camo than the Bat Chat? That's, in That's insane. <laughs> That's unexplained. Let's take a closer look at the bad chat just to be sure. So bad chat, I'll turn off my crew with a bunch of skills. I'll turn off all the equipment. It has better camo than the bad chat. What the hell? Huh. The 430, the normal tier 9 has better camo than the bad chat. That's surprising. 
So 15 is alright. It's a little bit worse than the T-54, but it's still workable. It's not like a Sherman or a Patton. Patton usually have about like 11 or 12, which is kind of bad. <laughs> so let's see. Give me the Patton. Frontline Patton, so I don't have to configure the stats. It's about 11. 10.5. It's pretty crap. <laughs> so camo is actually... Decent enough. I mean, it's not as good as the normal 430, but that's surprising. View range, eh, average, 380 compared to 380, 390, 400 for the snipers, 400 for the bat chat, yada yada. No comparison to the pen, obviously. Uh, how much would I feel about this vehicle? Well, it is assault gun, assault tank destroyer, so like the 430, but. Rear mounted, so better side scraping. Maybe the side skirts will help, or space armor for the sides. Nothing out of the ordinary. It is a premium, so makes more credit and crew XP. 226 millimeter pin is not half bad, so you don't have to resort to gold spamming with this vehicle. Um, 360 alpha is also decent, so big chunk. You don't have to expose yourself too often. Um, let's talk equipment. It's like with the... I wonder if this is classified as Assault. No, Versatile for the 590. We already covered this thing, but... It's a little bit different for the last slot. In terms of the... Field modifications. So, Assault Gun or Assault Medium Tank. First of all, this is obviously... Penalty to damage ammo rack or this, uh, gun. Nah, that's... You have the repair kit. That's no need for that. So, always go for the light. Alloy mounting kit, even though you don't need it since you have a already fast hull traverse speed or gun traverse speed, but um It's up to you for this one. This is really weird since normally you just pick this one to have better hull traverse and tur traverse speed, but it already has like 50 degrees per second for the tur traverse or hull traverse and 40 for the tur traverse It's already good, but having more doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Second modification is aim circle size or dispersion. So this is the grill 15 in terms of modification. So you could have pretty good accuracy, but if your dispersion is garbage, then it's practically useless. Uh, useless. So always go with better dispersion. Always go with you're moving the gun around and trying to adjust to targets. Always move the gun around. Better camo or better reverse top speed and suspension repair. Um. Since it's a salt gun, since the camo is average, it's good, but it's not that good. So I'll choose better reverse speed and better repair speed for the tracks. And finally, ooh, aim speed or vehicle hit points. Now, vehicle hit points doesn't really matter that much. For the object for 30, baseline hit points is 1,800. With the buff, 60 more hit points. At the cost of 0 0.07 aim time. I mean, these two are very, very negligible. I mean, it's practically minimal. I mean, do you really need that much aim time? So, technically, having 60 more health is a big difference if you're at the break point of your death or life in terms of aspect. So, technically, you could have more health. And I'll probably choose... More health over like 0 0.07 seconds of aim time, so that doesn't really matter that much, but... Um... <laughs> it's a weird choice. Alright, so that's practically it for assault medium tanks, but... How much would I rate this vehicle? It's all about the armor, so armor is a big factor. And aim time accuracy is not half bad. Same goes with DPM. Put a rammer on this vehicle. Rammer, uh, optics, likely turbocharger as well. So make it a little bit more versatile. If you feel the accuracy or aim time is not good enough, then put vents as this slot. But I will choose optics over vents any time of the day. I'll probably choose turbocharger over vents but you could choose one of the which also rammer rammer is the given but how much would i rate this vehicle 
Uh, it's decent. And we have to see the armor, but it looks very well sloped for the upper plate. Especially for like the peak or peak right here. That's that's very well sloped and it's rounded and it's 190. So it's like a heavy tank haul, but it's a medium tank. It could have side skirts or space armor for the sides. So that could act as additional armor. I would say like a 6.5. It is a premium still too. So it makes more credit and correct XP, but for now, we already have a few lined up in terms of premium or tier 9 offerings for next year. So for battle uh, for battle pass or for just premium selling, we already have the object 590, which is auto reloader of a T54 practically, and the forward mounted K91-2. This is a premium, whereas the object 590 is not a premium. So there are choices, but this one's a sniper compared to the assault. So armor is not as effective, obviously, and less health, but more mobile, logically speaking, and a little bit more view range, better camo, yep, less health. As for the 590, uh, DPM is not the greatest, but it's an auto reloader, so three round clip. Also crew of three, so you do not choose the intuition or safe stowage perk. That is pretty much necessary on Russian tanks, especially safe stowage because of the cramp spaces and you get ammo racked, which is not great. And also, penetration is about the same, so this is more of a versatile, so support medium tank. Horsepower per ton ratio is about the same. Uh, camo is a little bit better on this thing, surprisingly. So, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. It all depends on the armor profile, and we need to see it in the actual common test for me to play around with the actual armor to see how good it is. But for now, on paper, it looks pretty good. But when you find out that it's only like 120 at the front, you have to eat that paper. So it's not the, it's not the best if, if you have to eat the paper, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.